eres tú, que eres tú, que eres tú, que yeah, yeah, el clásico. Guys, it's big. It's huge. It's this big. This is what football is about. La Liga is coming to its crescendo. Real Madrid have not won La Liga in ages. And it's about putting the kill. It's about killing. You know, it's about trying to say we are here to make a statement. Barcelona. They got pipped out by Juventus. 180 minutes did not manage a single G. El Nene is out of this match. It's down to Messi and the cannibal. He tried to lodge an appeal. It didn't, it didn't happen. Real Madrid, people have insulted them. They've insulted Zizou. All those people who have been slandering my main man Zizou, I think you need to take that part. Because somehow, somewhere, Zizou has Real Madrid in his semi-final. And he still has them leading La Liga with a potentiality of putting the final nail in the coffin. Isco. Let's... Let's just, let's just go by Isco. <laughs> Why? Let me talk about Isco. Isco has to start. I've always been a great proponent and a great defender of this mode. Um, huge defender of him, but it's, it, Isco is balling. He's balling right now. And no matter how important Bismo is, I will start with Isco. I either start with Isco or if Bismo doesn't give me what I need in 45 minutes, I make that change and I bring him in. Remedy would have to go for the kill. Barcelona are there to be taken out for the kill. Their defense is garbage. PK has forgotten how to defend. I think his his de defending Shakira is rare and more than actually defending his own personal box. Umtiri is really the guy doing most of the defending. So we're thinking that Jessica Alba and Sergio Roberto might be um, originating in this uh, match. Um, but the key thing is that midfield, Iniesta and Busquets, can they hold it down? Real Madrid man, if Tony Cruz and Modric dictate the play, control things, but 100%, they have to attack. That's why I said Real Madrid have to attack. They have to attack and they have to control the game. They've got to make Barcelona play their game, which is means that... Because I'll say to Marcelo, Marcelo man, you're a left winger. I'll tell you that. You're a left winger. Marcelo is my favorite player in the world, you know. He is amazing. He is exceptional. But as I say this, don't rule out Barcelona. Don't do it. Don't do it. As long as Lionel Rich is on the pitch, breathing blood, combining that oxygen and carbon dioxide, you can never rule these people out. You, you, can't, you can't do it. You can't do it. So, looking at this game, um... Real Madrid are heavy favourites. They are playing far better than Barcelona. Barcelona just they're in, in, in a stomp. And, the, and to combine that, the fact that Mar isn't even playing makes it even worse. You've got... Cristina's hungry. Cristina needs that La Liga title. I can see it in his eye. Cristina, I called him. Me and him, we're not, we're not the best of friends, but we were trying to party together. I called Cristina last night and Cristina said, yo, double H, I need that La Liga. I was like... Cristiano, why? I mean, aren't you happy with the Champions League title? Cristiano said, yeah, I want another Champions League title, but Chris, 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 Cristiano said to me that I need another La, 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 La Liga because in my museum, I need, to come, I need to make that full set. I need a La Liga title. So Cristiano, last night, told me exclusively, this is exclusive for all of you, he said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. He's starving. And when it goes cry like, like him, he's starving, you, you better be very wary. But Barcelona are a wounded animal. They're angry. They need to react. And Lennon Rich is on that pitch. Um, I think we're going to get a very, very interesting game. But um, Real Madrid cannot underestimate their rivals. They, 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 they can't do it. They have to forget how badly Barcelona have been playing. They've got to forget about them getting pipped down by your boy Giorgio in Juventus. They've got to take this with a whole list of relief. And for Barcelona... They have to say, the Champions League is in the past. It's about the present. Because Barcelona know that if they can beat Real Madrid, which they can, at the Bernabeu, then they can turn things around. I mean, this, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough ask. The Bernabeu it has become a fortress. Zizou has made the Bernabeu a cauldron of blood. 
So it's very hard to predict where I think this game is going to go. So it's, it's, it's very hard to. I don't know. It's tricky. It's very tricky. But that's, that's where you come to for Goku. See, half hope. We need you to give me a prediction. This is the scoreline that I've actually been keeping in my head. I've been trying to budge here and there, but I think I'm going to stick with the scoreline. We're going to get a 2 2. Yeah, we're going to get a 2 2. It's, a, it's going to be a draw. I believe that Real Madrid will be the better team. They will control the play. But I'm going to have a nice section, but I think overall Real Madrid will be the overall better team and create more of the guilty edged chances. But I just think that Messi has something cooking up, man. I think Messi's got something in that pocket. I think the cannonball may, may G up, but Messi's going to go and do something. Okay. Because I think Messi say, look, my boys, we're going to make a last stand. Okay. I tried, I tried to call Lennon. He didn't answer my, my, my call. I think based off. You know some 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 stuff we went through. Just it's it's complicated. You know it involves a strip joints. No, shh. Um, so I think that this is going to be a two-two, which doesn't benefit Real Madrid. I repeat, I repeat, I repeat. Real Madrid have to go for the win. They have to lay the chokehold. This could be the final nail in the coffin in Barcelona's chance or dream. Of trying to get that ass. They need to tap that ass. And they need to really give it a little, nice little squeeze. No, easy guys. Easy, 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 easy. This isn't X-rated well. 2-2. Um, two, two, final scoreline. Watch my post-match analysis. Straight after the game. It's going to be fun. And I personally cannot wait. Because I think we could get a classic. Classical. Real Madrid. Playing well. Going high. I will start with Morata, but I know it's going to start with, with, with Benzema. Marcelo, I cannot wait to see what Marcelo does. Guys, just watch the game closely. And just because, again, you may miss it. Just Marcelo always does two or three things that people miss. Just look at what Marcelo does in the game. But as much as I say this, I will never, ever, ever bank against Bar Bar Barcelona. Okay, I can never bank against them. And I think Messi is... They, this is their, their last stand. This is their last stand. And they ain't going to go down easy. I'll see you in my post-match. I remember Q&A is next Friday. If you want to ask me any question, any question you want, head to the website, halfmoonfootballhot.com, top left hand, hand corner, email HH, email me whatever question you want, and I will answer it on next Friday's Q&A. Stay black and stay true or stay red. Swagalicious. <laughs>